Hi guys, this is Enrico from Jurenga. So, uh, in the last video I noticed um, that I actually run on this robot here, the version 4.5.34, and it actually has a version um, 35 available. So, um, with some fixes, uh, for example, for Modbus communication. So, it's better to put the latest version on. So, let's make a video and show you um, how this is done. So for, let me make the screen big. So we're using our robot with a small control box. Here is two USB ports and there's actually a USB stick in right now, which has the update file. Actually update files because we have them for all models on, on one system. So make it smaller, okay. So how do we update the system? So the most important thing to know is if you um, update the software version, it overrides your program folder and procedure folders and, and anything like that. So you essentially use the settings which are on the robot right now. So if you have anything you want to keep, you rather make a backup of it. So let's see where we can do this. So we will go here to settings and then we go here on the update page. So first option, let's go to file export. So if you uh, you can scan the device, you can um, uh, activate the USB port, which is under this address right now, and you can trigger file export, and then it should save uh, files which are under program and procedures, for example. Okay, we wait until the pop-up, but it's completed, and we are done. Okay, now we have two options, so actually three options. We can do a factory reset. Um, the factory reset is uh, resetting the current version and deleting everything like tools and programs and procedures from all the folders. So essentially it deletes the main folder and, and replaces it, uh, as well as the databases. Then we have update software, update firmware. Update firmware doesn't happen that often. Update software is the one we are going for. Okay, let's activate it and let's look for the software package. So we find here on our USB stick that we have four versions. The reason is we have four different models. We have i3, i5, sorry, my German is jumping in once in a while. So i3, i5, i10, and i16. We are using here the i5. Uh, let's check, yeah, this is the i5 in the picture, okay. And we are selecting that one and we press update software. So do we really want to update? Let's double check again. Do I select an i5? Yes, I did. Okay, let's update. Yeah, we can see here, so while it's running, you can see here version 4.5.35. We are running right now on the system 34. Now we wait until it's done. Uh, once it's done, we can close the, the OVP software. Um, closing is if you press on the button on the right here, it will shut down the whole system and it will do a full restart, including the OS in the background. If we are pressing on the login button and then on the X of the left of a pop-up, it's just going to close the OPE software and then restart it again. So this is a little bit faster. Um, so I recommend doing that so I don't have to, um, I don't lose the connection um, from the remote login as well as I don't have to get up, walk down and um, turn on the robot again, which I have to do because I don't have a remote power on set up on that robot yet. Okay, so upgrade is complete. Um, need to do a restart. Actually, ah, nice. It asks whether we want to exit the system. Okay, yes. Let's see if I really have to get up, walk down and turn it back on. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, the the robot system turned off completely, so I had to go down and um, turn it back on on the teach pendant. And then it booted for a while, and now we are back to the start screen of the software. So um, we can see that we actually still kept our tool, which I had um, configured before, which is great. Um, wasn't the same for other upgrades, we may have lost this information. Uh, especially if you do a manual one and you're not using the OBO software, you will lose um, programs, procedures, and the um, tool configuration because they are in the background in some databases which get overwritten. So, recommendation, as you have seen, uh, use the OOPE software so you don't lose all this kind of information. Um, this window for the uh, lost communication right now is just because I unplugged um, the... I unplugged one device to have space for the USB 
um, to have the software on it. Let's look at about Okay, we have version 4.5.35, which is great, so we have the latest version.